All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Alonzo with CB Graphics Custom Airbrush and Paint. On this video here, we're gonna be doing uh, a custom paint job on these two motorcycle three fourth helmets. And what the customer want is the Kansas City Chiefs logo, um, football logo. So instead of having the Kansas City Chief red, they were like uh, candy burgundy to match their 2019 Harley trike. So let's go ahead and take a look at these helmets and see what we got here. It's going to be like a, a his and hers. Alright, and this is an uh, actual G-Max helmet, as you can see. Over here. All right, so just to give you an example of what I'm doing before I even start um, prepping the helmet and getting it masked up, I always try to get my measurements of where everything is going to be. So, to give you a quick rough draft, so I will um, go on my studio program, which I'll show you in a second, and I will cut out little templates at the um, measuring with some measuring tape and get what size I'm gonna need everything to be. And since these helmets are different sizes, I can't put the same size logo on this helmet, on this smaller helmet, which is gonna make it look more bigger and bulky. So I have to get it size for this one and shrink it down to a size to fit this one. And once I get my measurements, I write everything down so I know. So I got the size of my logo, the logo on the small helmet. We got the size that the logo is going to be on the big helmet. Then I'm going to have to measure from the bottom of the logo to the bottom of the helmet. I have to measure that out. And then I will have to um, drop that measurement on the smaller helmet. So make sure you pay attention to math, kids, if you're watching. All right, I just wanted to show y'all how um, I go into my software program and get everything laid out for the helmet. And like I say, um, pay attention in math class because um, you would definitely need to be able to measure and get stuff sized right. All right, so I have both of the helmets masked up. Just using regular masking tape going around. Following the trim, I have a mark so I know which one is the medium helmet versus which one is the small helmet. And like I say, they're all masked up. And what I do, I go and double check and then come back and triple check to make sure I have everything sealed up before I start spraying. All right, so I just want to give you all a quick look at the helmet. It's a lot of work going to sanding these helmets down. Everything is done by hand and I'm removing the gloss off of it. So just having to go over it several times until all the gloss is removed and you can't no longer see in the clear. All right. Here I'm about to go ahead and uh, grab some paper towels, some shop towels, and go ahead and use some wax and grease remover and wipe down the helmets to remove all the clear that I scuffed off, scuffed off using the gray scotch pad. Uh, you see me keep glancing at the camera trying to make sure that it's recording. I'm actually using my cell phone. But as you can see, I'm wiping it down, trying to remove all the dust off, getting the helmets prepped up ready for paint. Now I'm taking a tack cloth and I'm going to wipe um, the helmets off to remove all the lint and dust off the helmets. And I'll do this process again too. I'm doing it now. And then once I get ready to put the white base on for my um, logos, I use some compressed air in a tack cloth to make sure I'm removing all the dust and particles. All right, as you can see, I have a white base coat sprayed on the helmet. I only sprayed where the logos are going to be at. There was no need for me to spray the entire helmet. Um, and as you're about to see, you'll see that I'm uh, placed the Chiefs word up there to uh, give you an example of why I only sprayed it in certain areas. Do it where the word Chiefs is going to be and then did it where the actual logos are going to be. And then um, once we're done with this part, now I'm going to go ahead and use my plotter and uh, cut up my vinyl for my stencils of the logos. All right, 
it's going to be hard to see, but I already have the logos up there. Not worry about the wrinkles in there because I'm going to just mask it off. As long as the paint doesn't get under it, then I'll be good to go. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and sprayed the black base coat. Now you see me mixing up that Orion Silver. And I'm going to go ahead and spray that over the entire helmet to get it ready for this candy burgundy. Which I sprayed all this off camera because I didn't want to take the chance of getting overspray on my cell phone, which I'm recording with. So there you see the candy burgundy applied to the helmets. And I think that was two coats there. I gave it like three coats of candy. And here, I'm going to go ahead and mask the letters back up. Um, so that I don't get an overspray as I'm spraying the yellow trim. So I'm just going to take my time and slowly make sure I get everything covered back up. That way I'll be ready to go into that um, step of spraying that yellow. Oh yeah, and while we're waiting, for those who's watching, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, please give it a thumbs up. This is the logo unmasked. I know it looked like the paint peeled on the helmet, but that's not paint peeling on the helmet. It's actually the paint peeling off of the vinyl. And the only thing that is, um, is showing is the trim, which I'm going to spray gold. Y'all looking for a good tape that's low tech? This IKS tape is a, is a pretty good tape for that. Um, so there I'm just going ahead and spraying the gold in. Here's a look at the helmets before I did the cleanup work and before clear coat. Even though I triple checked to make sure all the tape was down, I still got a little bit of overspray and underspray under some of the masking. So I got to clean that up and then get ready to spray some clear on it. Okay, here's the helmets after three coats of clear. And what I do is once the uh, clear coat is finished curing, I'll go ahead and color sand it down, buff it out, which won't be today. I'll let it cure for a couple of days. Then I'll come back and color sand it and buff it out and get it ready for the um, customer. And for those who are new to the channel, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, anybody who would like something custom painted by me, my website will be posted at the top of the screen right now. Thanks for watching.